Hello darling! Welcome back to my channel! Wait, actually, Molwen Mani, Molwen Madonna Wasikaya, today's video requires me to greet you guys in, in Kosa, in my home language. Because inside here, I have South African food. I am so excited. I come to you guys with so much joy in my heart because I will be cooking South African meals. some soul food for my husband they'll be having South African meals don't mind the noise that is my dog Leon he'll probably come come here and greet you guys too if he wishes like please don't mind him anywho so as you guys know that um, it is December and in South Africa December is the eight month like in December, that's when um, families come together and there's like family celebrations, like literally everything that you can think of is mostly done in December, like your weddings, initiations, um, like if you want to do a family dinner type of thing, Thanksgiving type of thing, whatever, those are stuff that are usually done in December. And most people um, are not working because uh, most people either take leave or the companies are closed. So everyone is just having the time of their lives in December. And it's summer, obviously. Oh, there's Leon. Hi, Leon. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Did you want to come sit on mommy? As I told you guys, Leon will probably come greet. He's here, he's going crazy, as usual. Ah! Leon, I need to film a video. I'm probably gonna have to move to the kitchen, guys, because... <sighs> okay, Leon is gone. But of course, now I have dog hair all over me, literally. Having a dog is like having a baby. Like every time the baby's on you, you know that you're either gonna be you're gonna have them um, spit on you. You'll be covered in all of that. That's how it is with dogs. You you always have dog hair. And yeah. Anyways, so as I was saying, so in South Africa, like December is just the end month, and I feel like um, the American December is like so sad and boring because it's cold. It's winter. It's raining a lot. Leon, I don't want to, I can't play. I don't know, for me, I just feel like um, American people just get excited because it's like um, a Christmas season and they just get excited for Christmas day, but not necessarily like the whole month where like everyone is just going crazy. It's just all about decorating their houses and celebrating Christmas. Whereas in South Africa, every day, <laughs> like literally, Every day of December is a party. Like, you party every day, literally. You don't even know the day of the week. That's how crazy it is. But not necessarily like that you're like, oh, he's just drunk. No, that's not what I mean. But you just even forget like what day it is because you like, it's like a Saturday every day where you're just at, ho at home, you're with your family. You feel me? You get me? Yes. And um, for the past few weeks, I've been feeling a bit homesick, especially because it's December and I've mentioned like how South Africa is in December. And you just like see everyone getting together and you just wish that you were there. And um, especially like with the Corona cases, I've, I mean like, that's like so depressing, like seeing your friends and family go through so much and you're actually like not there and like to be with your um, family in person. So my husband suggested that I should um, do something that will like lift up my mood or something that will like make me um, feel at home. And the best thing was to get the South African food. But um, I was a bit hesitant because um, so the ordering South African food online is quite pricey. That's what I've heard um, most people say. So 
I decided to go um, and search the, the Cape Grasa because I've heard it a lot. And when so I selected all the items that I wanted and I think it was about um, 150 something odd dollars. And so I was like, okay, this is not bad. Um, let me go ahead and just like purchase. And then when it got to the shipping, was it not $60 for shipping? And I was like, hell to the no, we're not doing that. And then so I was searching, searching, and then I came across um, African Hut. And I did African Hut and the prices were also like, okay. And their shipping was about um, $23, if I'm not mistaken. And I was like, oh, okay, not bad. I'll, I'll go ahead and purchase on African Hat. And when I was trying to like um, process the payment and all of that, um, I got a message that they currently close and um, they'll only open in the second week of December. And my staff won't get here. I don't know how long my staff will take to get. And I actually wanted all my foods like for December or like before Christmas. Because I wanted to dedicate like my December month or my Christmas season to like having South African food so that I can like feel at home. So as I was searching, I was like, oh my gosh, where am I going to get South African food? And I kept on searching and I came across um, this online store. Please hold on. Let me try and pronounce it. It's actually, it's called, wait. Yo, guys, English. I uh, Aubergine Foods. Aubergine Foods, I think. I'll write it down for you guys so that you guys can try and pronounce it. I, as long as they deliver, how, how their name is pronounced. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and order and I'll see um, how much their shipping is. Their prices were also okay. They weren't bad. Um, they, they were slightly more expensive than the, the Cape um, Grossa, but their shipping, to my surprise, was only $16. $16, I kid you not. I was like, I'm definitely ordering here. And so I sent them a message and they, were, they responded. Because um, I sent African Hat a message asking them like, on how long should I wait for the order, blah, blah, blah. And I think they only responded like a week later saying they don't guarantee that I'll get my, my stuff before Christmas. And when I sent a message on this one, they responded like within a few minutes and um, the person that responded told me that I, I must expect my stuff between um, four to 10 days, I think if I'm not mistaken. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'll go ahead and and order and we'll see what will happen and my stuff arrived five days later I, Like I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I found this and I just thought that I should share share it with you guys Because I know a lot of people have been complaining um, about like um, orders taking forever or about the shipping being too expensive I personally think that the $16 shipping is worth it. It's like compared to $60, I think it's, it's I, I, for me, I feel like it's worth it. When it got here, my husband actually asked me, why am I not opening the box? Because he was excited to see what's in it. But I decided that I should share the moment with you guys. So I decided to officially move to the kitchen because Leon could smell the greatness that's in here. And honestly, if I did it um, in there with him, he was probably going to eat off all my food. I'm not about to have that. Leon is on his worst behavior tonight. I wouldn't even be surprised if he followed me here. Okay. 
can already see some of my favorites. I can already see some of my favorites. Favorites. Breakfast. Wheat big. So oh, this is my favorite breakfast. I love wheat big. Love, love, love wheat big. Oh, I like that so. Let me actually show you guys how it was packaged inside the box. Oh. The wheat bakes were sitting right there. Uh, let me put it back. Yeah, there. This is how the box looked like. So I really like that they packaged this so well. Like, it's impossible for it to break no matter what happens. Okay. As you guys can see. Yo, guys, my heart. My heart. It's jumping up and down. My heart is jumping up and down. Jumping up and down, literally, literally. Take this out. We already showed you guys that. Got snacks. Knickknacks. And Simba chips. I've got my shortbread. These are, these are my favorite, favorite biscuits. And then we've got, I'm not really a big um, snack person, so I didn't really get a lot of snacks, but I really like um, salty stuff. So I like cooking. So I mostly got um, stuff that I'm gonna use for cooking. I've got Sam! Oh, and the mucho, Sam. So, pick up mucho. Oh, I'm so. I'm not much. I've got. Yo, the stuff is like literally very much. I think I'm gonna like. Um, open all of these up off the camera because this will take so long as you guys can see and you guys i can't even show you guys um like this because it's not that visible so i'll just unpackage these quickly and then i will be back actually it didn't it didn't take that long i'm i'm gonna do it on camera so i got nando's peri peri sauce this is one of my favorite favorite sauces nice and spicy and then i have this is probably everyone's favorite it's like an egg seasoned with this does the things aromats and then i've got honestly um this I've ne I didn't really like this growing up. Yo guys never mind the noise. That's Leon. Leon no. Yo Jesus caught me help me. This mango acha right now it's my favorite but I did not grow up liking or understanding what acha is until I got to Johannesburg. And the first time I had it, it was with bread and uh, mipaloni and acha. I was like, what the hell did I just eat? I really didn't understand it. Until um, another friend of mine introduced me to it. And we had it with pop and eggs. Yo, and it was going in. It was going in. It was doing the thing. And since then, like up without acha did not make sense and then i have this is my mom's favorite this is my mom's um favorite sauce 
she uses this um, to cook like her red meat and I grew to love it a lot. I use it a lot in my own place. So I'm happy I have this. I'm gonna make, tomorrow I'm gonna make umumusho and beef stew. I'm gonna use the sauce. Oh, guys. Wow. And then I have mayonnaise so i really like mayonnaise a lot but ever since i came to america and i tasted their mayonnaise it was not nice oh it was it was so different so i decided to get the home one and then i have yo hey guys I've got so I use these cans for my chakalaka. Um, I use them with beans. For me, these are like they're very nice. They have like a very spicy um taste to them. So I just like them a lot with my baked beans. Speaking of baked beans, could never get chakalaka and not get beans doesn't make sense doesn't make sense I got my baked beans and then I have okay what's this oh more baked beans I'll open that later And then I have appetizer appetizer this is this is a very 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 nice apple um, juice it's sparkling if you like um, lemonade or apple juice or whatever that's your to go and they are, a lot of people use it as a mixer actually okay let's see what is in here oh these are all my sauces and spices and i got jelly tarts these are my favorite um, sweets as a child. I got potato bag. Everyone that knows me will know how much I love potatoes. I love making potatoes in different ways because I don't want them to be boring. And then we've got soup. These are like your soup packets. Um, they actually didn't have a lot of stock because I guess people bought for um, December those are baked beans a lot of people probably bought for December so most of like stuff were not there that I wanted but definitely especially like with spices oh this spice wasn't really packaged now the box is like all messed up but at least it's in a bag so it shouldn't be a problem I couldn't get I wanted like curry powders and all of that and they didn't have so I just got that um, probably next time I order I'll get some of the stuff that I wanted that I couldn't get in this trip but that is okay I think this is probably chocolate. Yes. If you know me, you'll know that this is my favorite chocolate. So any chocolate that has a biscuit in it, like count me in that group. Um, chocolates with biscuits do the things for me 
Then we've got the flake. As I said, I, I'm not really a snack person, so they had a lot of snacks. They literally had so much snacks, but I wasn't too interested in that because I'm not a snack person. I don't... Okay, and this is... Um, I don't understand why it's clear though. Because this is, okay, well, I had ordered Iwisa and I hope that they didn't give me like something different that is not Iwisa because I don't understand why it's a white package. Let me see if I open it. Maybe it's inside here. No, it's just it's just the maize meal inside. I'm not sure if I trust that this is the Ibiza one. Unless they maybe um, stock in bulk and then they divide it into these um, little stuff. But I think I would have been, I would have preferred it if it was really the, like the Ibiza package so that you know that it's the real thing. But I'll make it and we'll see how it will taste. Yeah, guys. And that was all I got. As I said, that they didn't really have um, some of the stuff that I wanted. They were out of stock. I'm assuming because it's December and a lot of people are ordering. But I'm, I'm happy with what I got. I'm very, very happy with the time. It literally took five days for it to get here. I was happy with the shipping fee and I was generally happy with their prices too. So I'm definitely going to be ordering um, from this online store. And yeah, that's that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, thank you so much to everyone that um, has subscribed. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Honestly, all of that does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys and bye.